Hey there, art nerds. This is a shortened version of my much longer live stream where we unboxed and swatched this Arteza Metallic Mix Media kit together. I know that none of y'all have four hours to spend to figure out whether or not this kit is right for you or for your holiday gift giving this year for another artist in your life. So this is a short version to help you guys decide if this kit is a good fit. I'm going to be reviewing two Arteza mixed media kits this year. This is the first one. This is the metallic mixed media kit. It is listed slightly differently on Amazon. I will link that down in the description below so you guys can quickly find it. Just to let you guys know anything you order using one of my affiliate links, I do see a little bit of money from that. It doesn't cost you any extra. It's a great way to support this channel. And that even includes groceries. So I really appreciate it when you guys use my affiliate links. So I paid $99.99 for this on Amazon, but but it is currently listed on Arteza for $73.99 and they've got a Cyber Monday deal going on. I don't know if that's still going to be going on by the time you guys see this. This is a 109 piece drawing and painting set. It comes with three different types of paint. So it comes with acrylic, gouache, watercolor. It comes with metallic paints and regular paints. It also comes with acrylic markers and gel pins as well as brushes. It also comes with so many surfaces to draw and paint on. You get a black DIY sketch pad, watercolor paper, you get wood, and you get canvases, which is pretty cool. I have reviewed a few other art kits here on the channel. I usually do that in December to help you guys with your holiday gift giving. And most kits don't come with paper, and the ones that do, the paper is usually pretty crummy. One of the big things I have to say, though, about this Arteza kit is they this kit is not a cheap kit. The materials inside are not their cheapest art supplies they're all their standard stuff you might get fewer than you would if you bought them just individually on their site but they're all quality so not too long ago I did an unboxing swatch review of the Arteza half pan watercolors I really did not like them spoiler I've also reviewed their 24 tube watercolor kit didn't like that either and I will be reviewing two different Arteza advent calendars in the future this is a 12 day calendar and I'm still waiting on the 24 day calendar to come in so I hope you guys will keep an eye out for that because I am really looking forward to sharing that with you guys there aren't a lot of art advent calendars for adults out there Arteza and Etsy are pretty much your options and that's kind of surprising because I would have thought a lot of these bigger companies would jump on that to liquidate supplies but apparently not I'm also going to be reviewing their new brush tip alcohol markers uh, these are not the Everblend but they're like the Everblend markers so hopefully you guys will keep an eye out for that so you get two boxes inside your big mega box you get a box with your papers and substrates and then you get this wooden gift box that contains pretty much all the rest of the products that they're including so this has two latches on the front. It is pretty sturdily latched. It also has a carrying handle that is not uncomfortable in the hand. And it's heavy, but it's not like crazy heavy. Now there are two drawers that kind of pull up and apart to reveal the rest of the art supplies. So inside we get five acrylic markers. Most of them are in metallic colors. We get 10 glitter gel pins. We get 12 tubes of regular acrylic, 12 tubes of metallic acrylic, four wood cookies to paint on, 12 tubes of gouache. We get this cute little watercolor palette of metallic watercolors. We also get 12 tubes of metallic gouache. We get 12 tubes of regular watercolors. We get a small mixing palette. We get a set of five synthetic brushes. We get a water brush. We get a pair of tweezers and we also get some replacement chisel nibs for the acrylic markers. We also get a pamphlet that kind of runs through everything included and also has QR codes where you guys can learn more info about the supplies inside. I kind of like that kind of don't. I kind of wish they did include they had included a booklet on just a short booklet on how to actually use these because not everyone is allowed internet access or has a lot of internet access or can afford internet access and a pamphlet like that would have made it much more usable. All of the pads of paper are shrink wrapped in plastic as well as the canvases. So here are the three pads of paper we have here. So these are neat. These are actually um, 
foldable frames that you can that you can transform from the black paper. You also get like canvas sheets that are actual canvas and gesso and those are really cool. And you also get their cellulose watercolor paper that has kind of a linen texture to it. All of these are in their premium line, which is not their most expensive or nicest line. Their most expensive, nicest lines are their pro lines and their expert lines. Premium is pretty much a student grade experience all around. I did really like this pad of black foldable frames. I think that's really cool. And I love the idea that it transforms something you've drawn into a piece of art because you fold it in into this nice little box and it makes it more of a keepsake. I really, really appreciate anything that kind of get, presents the notion that art is for everyone anyone can learn how to make art and everyone has the right to make art that they enjoy that they could then display in their home like that is a big thing for me that's a really big theme on this channel and i like that arteza is actually creating art supplies that i feel kind of back that up they also have a really good blog with lots of tutorials on it although i will say sometimes I feel like it kind of pushes their products a little too much and oversells the quality of their products but I think you guys should check out their blog and I'm also going to be reviewing some of their cotton rag expert grade postcards so all of this was taken from the initial live stream which was four hours long we went through unboxed and swatched and talked about everything in the kit minus the canvases and the canvas palettes I'm saving those for a little bit later the metallic watercolors are all individually wrapped so they do take a little bit of time to unwrap them but I really do like the presentation and I felt like the metallic watercolors kind of impressed me especially compared to some of the other supplies in this kit and we'll talk about that a little bit more uh, the watercolors and the pads of paper are really the only things I noticed that had a lot of like unwrapping to them the brushes do have a little bit of sizing in them so you're gonna want to clean them out with some clean water um, so I'm just using my rinse cup that has a paint puck in the bottom just to remove that sizing and the sizing is just a stiffening agent that keeps the bristles kind of in place during transit it's not something that you really need permanently So I started the swatching aspect of the Unbox and Swatch paper using the included gouache. So these are the plain colors of gouache on their included watercolor paper. I opted not to use their included palette because I find it to be very small. It's a small, fairly flimsy plastic palette. It's kind of a pack-in, but that's fine. What I am using though are ceramic and glass plates that I purchased from Dollar Tree. I like those better and they're really pretty cheap, but I would not, I'm not judging the whole kit by, you know, one plastic palette. So in total, we have 24 colors of gouache. 12 of them are regular colors. 12 of them are metallic colors, which is kind of a fun additive. And in the swatches, I'm going to also be testing for opacity. And I am using the brushes that they've included in this kit for all of our swatching. So for their gouache, I felt like their gouache was fine. I'm not a big gouache person, but I have tried it a few times. Mostly I've used Winsor & Newton's gouache and I find their gouache to be creamy and easy to use. I definitely feel like I'll try their gouache again later, probably for the field test. I do actually want to create a standalone illustration using the art supplies in this kit. Now in the description below, I'm going to have all of the color names and pictures information when available it's either going to be in the description itself or linked in the show notes so if you're really curious and you want to know everything there is to know about these watercolors and well, not just these watercolors sorry I review a lot of watercolors if you want to know everything there is to know about this art kit everything I know about this art kit check the description there there should be a lot down there and there's also going to be a link for the full show notes that's going to include everything so something kind of in eh, eh, about Arteza is uh they're not always great about their pigment information and uh, that's really apparent with their half pan watercolors, but the metallic and the tube half pan watercolors have no pigment information. The gouache and the metallic gouache do have the pigment information and the light fast and the opacity information actually listed on the tubes and the metallic ones, they are metallic because they have included a little bit of mica in them.
So with the metallic watercolors, I found, or I'm sorry, the metallic gouache. I found that the metallic gouache is about the same as the regular gouache, although color mixing was a bit more difficult with the metallic gouache. And I do like the color selection. I do love metallic watercolors, and we're about to talk about those some more here, but I can be very picky about them. So something I liked about the metallic watercolors is I like the travel tin and means that you can just take the metallic watercolors with you when you go. I would have loved to have seen some additional packaging in this that allows you to kind of break this kit down and take what you need with you, but I understand why that wasn't included. This little palette is just kind of a taste of what could have been. I also appreciate that the swatch sheets included are a white paper and a black paper swatch sheet although the black paper swatch sheet is just like a sketch paper it's not a watercolor paper or a heavy paper so it's not really the best reflection of these watercolors I will say I was expecting their half pan metallic watercolors to be awful because their half pan watercolors are awful and they're not they actually impressed me because as I said the regular ones are kind of eh um, these are opaque metallic watercolors and they activate very readily. The set comes with a white swatch card and a black swatch card and I did um, kind of washouts on the white swatch card just to see if they kind of fall apart if we lose all the vibrancy as soon as we add water because with a lot of cheaper paints that is a thing that happens all the time. Not so much with these and they do actually kind of stand out on the black paper as well which is pretty cool. I'm definitely going to play around with these a little bit more in the future. Now Arteza does sell all of these or some version of all of these products in as individual products or in larger sets. So if there's something you really like, you can buy more of it. And another cool thing about these is you can actually buy the watercolor half pans open stock from Arteza. So if you want to, if you use up a color, you want to add more colors as you go without buying a whole new set, you can actually do that. And I really appreciate that. So next up are their regular watercolor tubes. We have 12 tubes of color. I think we do get two whites. In some of these with the regular colors, you get two whites because white is the color that people tend to use the most. So these are an improvement with my first experience with Arteza tube watercolors. They don't have any strange off gassy sort of smell. They're still not great. I think these are cheap watercolors and they're overly opaque and they're a little annoying to use. Quite frankly, they're not really that different from the gouache. They don't really handle that all that much like I would want a standard tube watercolor to handle. Now, I'm talking about this as a 35 year old woman who paints with watercolors all the day. I review watercolors and I have painted probably at this point thousands of watercolor illustrations and hundreds of watercolor comic pages. So what my standard for watercolor is probably way higher than the standard for someone who would be receiving this kit as a gift. So I think these are really workable watercolors. You can use them. They do handle like watercolor. But if you're giving this kit to someone who loves watercolor, this is, Arteza is not necessarily the best fit for them. If you're giving this to a younger artist or somebody who wants to experiment with different art supplies and doesn't have a lot of experience, this kit is actually a really good gift. And it's one of the better art supply gifts or art supply kits I've seen. And you guys can see how muddy the water got. That looks like chocolate milk. That's from optical brighteners. Those are used to make the paints look brighter when they're in mass tone form. And here I'm just kind of comparing the watercolors against the gouache. And so gouache is a medium that's meant to be more opaque. It's an opaque watercolor. Um, I found that the gouache and the watercolor didn't differ as much as I would have wanted considering watercolor is meant to be a more transparent medium. So just speaking as an overly critical picky adult, I, they were too similar for me. I don't really like their watercolors. But again, I'm somebody who reviews watercolors all the time. I have 
over a hundred probably watercolor reviews here on the channel so I might just be too picky. They were fine and they were fine on the included watercolor paper. So this is what I'm really excited about their black paper. So this is cool because it folds down into I don't want to call it a canvas it's kind of like a box. So this is actually closer to a smooth mixed media media paper than anything else. It doesn't have a lot of texture. You do lose a lot of this paper surface to make the frame itself, but I love how it turns a piece of paper into a really special object. This is really fun, and I know Arteza makes a lot of these kinds of things in different sizes too. So if you like this concept, but you didn't want it in black, or you didn't want it in this kind of paper, they make a lot of them. And I actually have their Cotton Rag Expert watercolor paper that does this that I want to review for you guys as well. Because like I said, I really want to make art more accessible for more people. I want people to make art a habit, make it part of their everyday lives. And anything that makes art more accessible, makes it more fun, or helps you see the art that you create with your own hands as something beautiful and worth celebrating and having value I think that is really cool and it, I want to support that and honestly I think these frames do that so uh, the acrylic markers seem to be half filled they took a really long time to prime but once primed they had no issues really the silver does have a bit of streakiness but metallic paints often do they seem to be well made and potentially refillable if Arteza were to offer refills and they did include replaceable chisel nibs and tweezers. So that's a really nice afterthought. So for the gel pins, these were good. They kind of surprised me because gel pins are usually a cheap pack-in that not a lot of thought is given to. These are decent gel pins. They're not particularly opaque, but you do get some glitter on the black paper and they rolled really easily. There was no stopping and no skipping, but you guys know the true test with gel pins is how well are these gonna write a week from now? So now we're going to transform our paper. It took a little dexterity in me following the directions on the back of the box to kind of figure it out. But I think now that I've done one, it would be a lot easier for me to do the rest of the pad. And this pad is actually a half size pad in terms of how many sheets you get compared to what they typically sell. So during the live stream, I looked up all the all of the things included in this kit, found prices for them, and tried to determine a total value. And the total value for this kit is about $150.85. I did have to guess on some products. And this kit costs less than $100 if you catch it on sale. So you are getting a pretty good deal. So these are the canvas sheets. I didn't want to use the canvases or the canvas panels for the unboxing swatch because I wanted to save those to actually paint something on. Although personally, I tend to prefer canvas over canvas panels because I like that bounce back that feedback you get when you're painting on canvas. So what's neat about these is that typically with these kind of canvas sheets, it would just be like a cardstock with a plastic canvas finish on top. This is actually canvas with gesso on it. And during the live stream, I talked about one of the things that's kind of concerning me and it's the similarities between the watercolor, the gouache, and the acrylics. I mean, it's all the same colors, which kind of makes sense because they're all basic colors. What I think they're doing is I think they're just using the same pigments for the most part and just using a different medium and a different binder. And while there's nothing necessarily all that wrong about that, I found that I, I, I just found that the acrylics really did not handle all that well. Um, I do have some experience with acrylics, although I don't love acrylics and I don't paint with them all that often. So I'm not sure if it's an issue with the paints themselves or the brushes, but these acrylic paints have no body to them and not much coverage. They just don't really handle the way you would expect acrylics to handle. And recently, uh, as part of Art Squad, we recreated a Bob Ross tutorial. We painted along and I went and bought some Blick acrylics so that I could paint. And those are just a better paint. They have more body, they have better coverage, they're more fun to paint with than these Arteza paints. But I think for a smaller painting, these Arteza acrylics would be fine. They also have metallic acrylics. I didn't really 
feel any differently about the metallic acrylics than I did about the regular acrylics. And I did notice that both sets of acrylics have this kind of strange chemical smell. So acrylics do smell like acrylic. They smell a little bit like plastic. You get kind of used to that. These have kind of a, a funky smell that isn't quite right. It, it might be something else they're including with it. Now, the colors are kind of fun. And um, I always kind of think of metallics as being like the icing on a cake and you know our regular colors as being the cake itself. I will say though that generally when it comes to metallics, I would rather mix a metallic additive into my existing paints than have a bunch of different metallic colors. The only difference there is with the fine techs. I really like fine tech watercolors and I like what they bring to the market. Uh, but yeah, these were just really not anything particularly special, exciting, or something to write home about. So if you check the show notes in the description below, I went and I grabbed prices for everything in this kit. That's how I got a total value for what this kit should cost. Some of these things are sold in bulk on Arteza, so I had to subdivide the price. That's why I say the price is approximate. As I mentioned earlier, the total value for this kit is about $150. They also include some things that they don't necessarily sell on the site itself, like those wood cookies or like that little plastic palette. Now, the one thing I didn't really talk about too much were the brushes. The brushes are fine. They worked well for gouache and for watercolor. They are synthetic brushes. There's a little bit of wobbliness in the big flat. The rest of them work pretty well. Um, I would not recommend those brushes though with those acrylics, which is funny because they are sold as brushes for acrylic and oils. You know, you don't use the same brush for every paint in existence. So if you are getting this set, you might want to pick up some stiffer brushes. Those might work a little bit better with the acrylics. And I didn't have a chance to test out the canvas panels or the canvases themselves, but they seem to be pretty standard quality for what you'd find. And I think they're pretty decent. So I look forward to playing around with them with you guys later on. What are the pros and cons of this kit and what is my verdict? Well, the pros. I really love that Arteza included papers and canvases with this kit. It makes it almost immediately usable. I also really love that in their pamphlet there are QR codes to tips and tutorials. If you have internet access, this means you can learn how to use these materials as you go rather than seeking additional resources. The included brushes are way better than I expected and the price point, especially if you catch it on sale, is great. So the cons. Honestly, there aren't too many at this price point. The acrylics are kind of weak. The two watercolors are kind of weak. Unfolded, this box takes up a lot of space. I wish they'd included a tips and explanation pamphlet as well to make this kit more usable to people with limited computer or internet access. And although the site says these brushes are for acrylics and oils, I found the brushes to be really too soft for that, although they are great for the watercolor and gouache. And I wish they'd include some stiffer brushes for the acrylic. What is my final verdict on this particular kit? This kit took me by surprise. After reviewing the Arteza 12 piece half pans, I expected to be really disappointed by what Arteza included and I wasn't. During the stream, a viewer pointed out that everything in this kit is adequate and I would firmly agree. Nothing is terrible and Arteza does sell some really cheap stuff. Nothing is phenomenal, but everything is good enough for someone new to the medium to enjoy this kit. For someone already using more expensive art supplies, this kit won't scratch that itch, but it is a huge step up over Artist Loft kits, the Creatology kit, and most of the art kits sold at arts and crafts stores. And I reviewed a few of them here on the channel. If you'd like to check them out, they'll be in the cards. So would I give this kit as a gift as a professional artist? If someone already knew what they liked to do, no. If someone was exploring a lot of different media or just getting into art or really liked mixed media and didn't have many art supplies, yes, I would give this as a gift. So what did you guys think of this massive Arteza art kit that not only comes with watercolors, metallic watercolors, gouache, metallic gouache, acrylics, metallic acrylics, but it also comes with a bunch of brushes and 
a bunch of papers. Did you like it? Were you on the fence about it? Is it something that you're gonna consider giving as a gift this year? Let me know in the comments whether or not you hung out with me for that four hour long live stream. That was so much fun. Thanks to those of you who were able to join it. Y'all made that a blast. Or if you're just checking in to see if this kit is right for you or an artist in your life, I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope this was helpful, useful, and informative. And I hope this will help you make art a habit or help someone else make art a habit. It's really important to me to make art and illustration and comics more accessible to more people. And I love sharing my two degrees and 10 years of art and art teaching experience to help make art more accessible to more people. So if you're looking for more affordable budget art supplies, I hope you guys will check out some of the helpful playlists linked down in the description below. And I hope you guys will keep an eye out on my student grade showdown for more. Now, I can't really speak too much to the gouache in this kit. It seemed fine to me, but if you are giving the gift of art supplies this year and you are giving to an artist who has, but they already know what they like, if you're going to give acrylics and you're on a budget, I would recommend the Blick acrylics instead of the acrylics in this box. And if you're going to give the gift of watercolors and you're on a tight budget this year, I would recommend either the Mei Liang pigments, that's the pretty excellent or parrot watercolors, or I I would recommend the Superior Folding Palette. Actually, a lot of the Superior Palettes are great and a lot of fun, so it kind of just depends on you know who you're giving it to. That watercolor watch I reviewed a while back, it's also by Superior, and that was a ton of fun. So I will link those in the cards and in the description below. But if you need specific help shopping for an artist and you're not sure what to get and you're not sure if it's any good, feel free to reach out to me through the Paint Box, my art-centric Discord server, and I would be more than happy to help you with your holiday shopping this year. Videos like this one, reviews like this one are only made possible thanks to the generosity of my patrons on Patreon. I don't have any kind of a working relationship whatsoever with Arteza. This was purchased out of my own pocket and I really didn't receive any sort of a special deal. So if you enjoy reviews like this one and you want to help make art and art supplies more accessible to more people, joining me over on Patreon for just $2 a month really helps a lot and it allows me to purchase kits like this one to review for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching the reconstruction after Hurricane Ida is truly in earnest two months later and hopefully I will see you guys again soon with another tutorial or art supply review. So have a wonderful day guys. Bye!